I was just interested in doing something that was a bit out with my normal day to day. Uh, it was something just for me. I uh, feel like I do quite a lot of work here for just for other people and then I was like I wanted to invest something in myself and see what I could do. Uh, no, so I've, I've never worked in a professional kitchen. In fact, you're not allowed to have had any kind of professional experience. Um, I, um, I had to wait to this point to apply because about 12 years ago, I did my intermediate two hospitality in my sixth year of school. And that was considered enough of a cooking qualification to eliminate me from being uh, a participant until I waited after 10 years. Um, but my cooking journey started when I was really young. My mum would just put me and my brother chopping veg out of the way. Um, just because if you have them, even if they're in the corner playing with knives, they're still less dangerous than unsupervised and quiet somewhere else. Cooking in front of cameras is absolutely terrifying. Um, the biggest struggle is always uh, the limited space when it comes to a kitchen. Uh, if you think about when you're cooking in your own house and how many times you just randomly catch an idea of I need to get this and you just turn around, uh, you can't do that because there's a man behind you with a camera. <laughs> and uh, they get very upset if you trip them. Um, but yeah, it, it was really good fun. Everyone who was involved in the process uh, were really, really nice people. Um, all of the production assistants, the cameramen, uh, the sound guys, everyone was really nice, the home ec team. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't have been able to get through it if it wasn't for them being as nice as they are. Uh, but it, they, they obviously know they're working with amateur cooks and they know they're working with people who've never been on TV before. So they're very good at working with you. Um, yeah. So my, uh, my inspiration was I wanted to go on and cook Scottish food to start with, uh, just because I often feel like people go on and they say, I went on holiday once and I enjoyed this type of food, so I'm making that type of food. But I felt like, do you know who makes that type of food the best? The people who grew up with it. So if I can go on and cook Scottish food well, then I will at least have gone out cooking my own food and I'm not appropriating from someone else. Yeah, I, um, I really love the work of Tom Kitchen. Um, he has done such amazing things uh, with the kitchen down in Leith. So he's got a little pub down in Stockbridge called um, the Scranis Galley. And it's basically a Michelin star chef's version of pub food. And it's brilliant. Um, there's him and then there's, uh, like, there's guys like Tommy Banks down in uh, at Roots, because uh, he is, very famous Michelin star chef down south uh, and a lot of the produce that he was using for making his Michelin star restaurant food was coming from his farm uh, but then there was a lot of waste and so the restaurant roots is all of the extra stuff so like if they're using a key part of an ingredient for something in the main Michelin star restaurant roots is where they use the rest of the ingredient still a great ingredient but it's not going to waste I mean, so far in the show, everything that I've used has been um, something that I either pre-prepared for the show or I uh, was ready and aware of. Um, the challenge where they had the squid and the courgette and the chili, I didn't have to partake in that one luckily, but I probably would have struggled the most with the courgette in that one, because um, everyone looks at squid and they go, all right, calamari, um, unless you're Howard and you're like, oh, I'll stuff that with mashed potato. Um, but the, I have no idea what I would have done with the courgette at all. So I'm very lucky that I got away with that one. <laughs> so uh, through to the, the knockout rounds now, the main thing I'm interested in is what I'm watching the show every week to see who gets through so that I can know who I'm up against. Um, every time I watch it, I'm like, oh my God, these guys are so much better than me. <laughs> um, but I think that's just who I am as a person. I'm always going to assume that I'm the worst person in the room at something. Um, I'm, I'm optimistic that I can do something with it. I want to see how far I can get. Um, I kind of did it to prove to myself that I could. Um, so it's always been 
like on the fence as to whether or not I do anything with it. If I do, probably do it at the weekends. Uh, maybe do a, a supper club or pop up or something. But I will see how it goes. You never know. I might end. I might burn out in flames and never be allowed to show my face in the kitchen again. 